What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Jeremy Funnenberg here, the leader of the Never Work the 40 movement. And today we are talking all about leadership. Not management, leadership. And if you thought the two were the same, whoo, you're in for a rude awakening and this video is for you. If you want to be a better leader, this video is for you. If you feel like you're doing way too much work in your organization, then that's probably a leadership problem. So if you guys are ready to learn about real leadership, then let's Dive in. All right, my friends, let's talk about leadership. So no, management and leadership, two different things, right? You can manage people and I get it, but you have to do it in a way where you're leading from the front. You have to be a leader. My mentor always told me leadership is spelled E-X-A-M-P-L-E. You need to be the example. Because at the end of the day, a CEO only does three things. They manage people, they manage coaches, they manage the numbers. And people hear that and they go into management mode and just gonna tell people what to do. But there's no leadership behind it. Well, guess what? If you aren't the example and you can't actually lead, then nothing's gonna work. You see, if you lead the people and you're the example, now they have an example they can follow. If you're a leader and you demonstrate what the company's culture is and you exemplify it, oh, then you can maintain your culture. And then people are going to, see, people typically don't like managers, they like leaders. If you look at most organizations, people quit due to bad management, poor management. But when there's a leader in place, then the business grows and people always perform at a higher level than they would otherwise. So it's gonna come down to leadership. When there's great leadership in place, you have great people and they're gonna do more and you can manage your numbers and you're gonna watch them steadily grow because they're gonna perform for the leader. You see, when you're just a manager, people do what you tell them to do because they have to. When you're a leader, they'll do what you tell them to do just because they want to. And here's the thing, when you're a leader, everything becomes easier. But leadership is a skill and it must be developed. So what are some traits of being a good leader? What does it look like to be a good leader? Because we all know that you don't go as far as your dream, you only go as far as your team. And if your team doesn't like you, you're not able to lead your team, you're not gonna go very far at all. Which means you can never elevate to the level that you want to because your elevation will always be dependent upon your delegation. If you can't delegate things effectively, then you can't elevate and grow your business. So Jeremy, how do you become an effective leader? That's a very good question. Now I'm glad you guys are asking that question. I'm glad you're wondering. So here's how you're gonna lead. You're gonna lead from the front. You see, Darius Daniels, I love Darius Daniels. He talks about the deeds of leadership. And he talks about how if it ain't in you, there's nothing I can do about it. You see, because God deposits. You have greatness inside of me and all your people have greatness inside of me. And that's just a gift from God. God already deposited that in him. You see, I always talk to you guys about be, do, have. And I always talk about in Genesis, it says, and God blessed him. And then God said to them. You see, God deposited before he gave the command. He always gives you the capacity for you to use the command. He always gives you the ability for you to use the assignment. But we can't give them the ability, only God can do that. But here's the good news, God already did that. So God already deposited, perfect. Guess what, those leadership traits that you need, God's already deposited that in you. Mm. Keep talking to him, Jeremy. So here's the thing, so now that God's already deposited that in you, God's already deposited that in them, then what we have to do, as a leader, it is our job to help them develop what God deposited in them. Help them find the greatness inside of them. Help them become the best version of them. We know be, do, have. If you don't be, you can't do. If you can't do, you won't have. Talk to your people, figure out what is it that they want out of this role. What is it that they want? And then help them develop into the person that can do the things that help them have the desires that they want. And then the next D is to deploy. Now we need to help them deploy those gifts and abilities into their roles. God deposited, we help them develop, and we help them deploy. That's what it looks like to be a leader. But there's a certain skill set that's needed to do that. And that skill set is called leadership. And those leadership abilities have already been deposited into you. Now, my friends, it is your job to develop that leadership ability and then go out and deploy it into your people and lead them. And who knows, maybe you might just need a coach to help you in that process. From time to time, I do take on coaching clients or reach out to me, maybe I am, maybe I won't, but I can certainly help point you to a coach that can help you do that. But the biggest suggestion I'll say is get books by John Maxwell. Any John Maxwell book will help you develop your leadership abilities. Learn from John Maxwell, but understand God's already deposited in you, now you just need to develop and go deploy. And then just help your people and your team develop and deploy. And then watch your organization grow as you become the leader that you were called to be. And and if you don't have a team yet, then I'll be happy to help you build that team. Go to myvafast.com. We can get you a virtual assistant. Only three to five dollars an hour, and they can help you grow. And hey, if you need our help, you're still working on your leadership, we can come in and help lead your team for you. So go to myvafast.com. 
www.thebrandsmarketingmentor.com. We'll be more than happy to help you out. If you guys like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell for more videos to come because we're dropping three videos every single week. And if you found this video helpful, you want to see more of our content before you make that commitment to subscribe, I understand. Just hey, hit one of these videos on the screen. I'm pretty sure you'll like those too. And I'll see you there.